And as you know, the threat to the Senate was no less than that of the members of the House. The mob approached the Senate with the same purpose, fulfilling President Trump's goal of stopping the count, delaying the certification of the electoral college votes of the American people. As you heard from Manager Plaskett, Vice President Pence was moved away from the area near the Senate chamber around 2.25 p.m. By that time, rioters had breached several areas close to this chamber, and they were flooding the hallways just outside and nearby. The Senate chamber was not evacuated until 2.30 p.m. The mob had been in the building for more than 15 minutes. This new security footage of the senators and staff leaving the chamber will be displayed on the screens. It is silent. You cannot see it in this footage, but quick thinking Senate floor staff grabbed and protected the electoral ballots that the mob was after. Those of you who were here that day will recall that once you left the Senate floor, you moved through a hallway to get to safety. That hallway was near where Officer Goodman had encountered a mob and led them upstairs and away from the Senate chamber. You know how close you came to the mob. Some of you, I understand, could hear them, but most of the public does not know how close these rioters came to you. As you were moving through that hallway, I paced it off. You were just 58 steps away from where the mob was amassing and where police were rushing to stop them. They were yelling. In this security video, you can see how the Capitol Police created a line and blocked the hallway with their bodies to prevent rioters at the end of the hall from reaching you and your staff. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.